For the approximately 2,000 freed Union soldiers on board the Sultana, life must have seemed pretty sweet. The war was over, they were no longer in prison, and they were on their way home. However, nothing could have prepared them for what would happen next. During a stopover in Vicksburg, where Captain Mason planned to have the Sultana's boiler repaired, he discovered that the government was prepared to pay between $5 and $10 per soldier to have them transported back to Missouri. Concerned that he would miss out on the massive payday if he waited and had the boiler properly repaired, Mason opted for a quick fix and began loading as many people as possible onto his paddle steamer. By the time they'd left on its last voyage, the boat, which was legally allowed to carry 376 passengers, was carrying more than 2,500. All this extra weight, combined with the exceptionally rough waters of the Mississippi, caused one of the boilers to explode. Hundreds of people were killed instantly by shrapnel, superheated steam, and boiling water. Although locals quickly organized a rescue effort, an estimated 1,800 people were killed either by drowning or being boiled or burned alive.